हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट व्हिच इज नाइन्थ यूनिट ऑफ योर सिलेबस व्हाट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एज यू नो मैनेजमेंट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टाफिंग डायरेक्टिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग नाउ यूज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फॉर हैंडलिंग द फाइनेंशियल मैटर इज नोन एज फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट डेट मीन्स मैनेजमेंट ऑफ फिनेंस as you all know finance is the backbone of any business without finance nothing is possible in the business for the successful of any business finance should be well managed of an enterprise that's why financial management plays a very crucial role for the success of any business so what is the financial decision basically we have already studied there are three main financial decision involved investment decision financing decision and dividend decision the success of financial management or effective financial management is depend on these three decision how effectively these three decisions are taken so financial management is basically efficient acquisition means financing decision to collect the money for the investment purpose from the market and whenever finance manager collects the money from the market or arranges the money from the market they should keep in mind that the cost of capital should be minimum risk should be minimum at the allocation now divide the money or invest the money into the different different type of project in long term investment project short term investment project and uses of funds by a company for smooth working or you can say to achieve the wealth maximization objectives of a company the main objectives of a financial management is to wealth maximization of shareholder so basically they have to manage the finance ki finance whenever finance is required in an enterprise that should be available in right quantum for resources or finance should not be idle they should not be wasted because the cost has to be paid that's why and invest the money into the profitable projects because if they will invest company will invest the money into the profitable project then only they can pay back the money of creditor debenture holder and shareholder basically they have to arrange finance in such a manner कि डेट द मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ कंपनी विल इंक्रीज नाउ द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट साइज एंड कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ फिक्स एसेट्स द साइज एंड कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ फिक्स एसेट्स इज डिपेंड अपॉन द फाइनेंशियल डिसीजन इज डिपेंड अपॉन द फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट under the management they have to decide because under the management basically manager takes the decision so they have to decide ki how much money they will invest in the fixed asset in the purchase of fixed asset in the purchase of land building because the profitability of business expansion of the business is depend upon the fixed assets clear so they have to decide carefully ki that because a huge amount will be invested in the fixed asset so they have to decide ki how much amount they will total invest in fixed assets and composition mean inclusion of different different fixed asset like investment in land investment in building clear the second is amount and composition of current assets you know the assets are of two type fixed assets and current assets fixed assets affect the profitability expansion of the business and the investment in current assets affects the liquidity and profitability both current assets means investment in cash investment in raw material investments in stock clear and the it's also necessary to run the business on the daily basis like payment of wages and salary so under the financial management decisions it will be decided the total amount invested in current assets and the segregation in different different types of current assets now amount of long term and short term funds to be used to buy fixed assets to buy current assets there is a need of finance so they have to decide according to the requirement in fixed assets according to the amount invested in current assets ki how much amount to buy fixed assets they have to arrange 
funds from the long term sources of finance to invest money in current assets they have to arrange funds from the short term source of finance like long term source of finance like issue of equity issue of debt and for the short term like trade credit bank overdraft this types of source of fund they have to use according to the money required to invest in fixed assets and current assets proportion of debt and equity in capital basically to arrange finance for the longer time period they have to arrange funds debt and equity both the sources of finance have its own advantages and disadvantages debt is risky for the company equity is not risky for the company debt is cheaper source of finance equity is costly source of finance so overall they have to mix of both these debt and equity clear so they have to decide ki how much quantum they will arrange through debt through debenture or loan and how much quantum they will arrange through equity so this is also another decision which a business manager has to take under the financial management all item in profit and loss accounts the decisions which are taken in previous steps in previous point decide ki a uh, decides uh, the items or expenses or income shown in pnl accounts suppose if they are using more debt so more interest is to be paid so expenses will increase so it's depend upon the decision of financial manager clear so these were the importance of financial management now the next is the prime objective of fm the main objective of fm is the wealth maximization of shareholder maximization of shareholder and how it will be calculated number of share into market price of share and when it increases clear when it increases wealth of shareholder when market price of share increases and to achieve this objective they have to take three financial decision wisely or very carefully which we have already studied investment decision financing decision investment financing decision and dividend decision and other objective of fm ki that the finance should be required at the time of need where resources should not be wasted money should be invested into the profitable project so these are the other objective and the main objective is the wealth maximization of shareholder and it will be calculated uh, number of share into market price of share thank you this was about the concept of financial management importance and objectives